I'm not going to lick envelopes. Well, who asked you to? See, that's what this um little spongy thing is for. I thought we kind of agreed I was going to steer clear of the campaign. Well, I never agreed to that. Honey, why are you making this so difficult? It doesn't have to be. Yeah, sure, as long as I do what you tell me to do and jump on the Danny for Mayor bandwagon, oh, right? Dad. Honey, I'm not a political animal. I'm just a doctor, you know? Maybe if one of the uh, candidates needs a conscience, I'll arrange for a transplant. Well, Danny's not a politician, and he's got a heart, and he's got a conscience. And he's going to do great things for Springfield with or without the support of his father-in-law. I wasn't talking about Danny. Look, I'll just, I'll leave the cheesy jokes to your brother, okay? Okay, good, because I didn't ask you here to talk about Danny's campaign. I actually need your help with something else. Ah, thank God. All right, shoot, go ahead. <laughs> well, um, you know that I've been uh, spending a lot of hours working at the Hotline Center. And uh, I've been getting a lot of calls from young people struggling with addiction, which is very upsetting. It must be. And um, I just realized that I don't really know as much as I should. You know, you and Mom, I think, protected me a lot when things weren't so good. We tried. I was hoping that maybe you could help me understand what drives a person to, to alcohol or drugs or even gambling. I mean, it's all the same wealth of control, right? Pretty much. Uh... And I just want to understand what triggers it. What um, makes the person want something that they know that they shouldn't have. Alcoholism is a disease. I mean, I, I can't speak for the others. I... Okay, well then, then, in your own experience, in your own situation, was there certain things that um, maybe sent you or guarantees to send you back into drinking or was it like an, an escape yeah escape is, is a big part of it i'm sorry if this is painful for you it's all right i mean if it helps somebody else it's fine i know that a lot of your rough times happened before i was born like you know in the 70s how was your life then What happened back then, Dad? I mean, I think I'm old enough to know now, right? Honey, you know that I am not proud of the life that I lived back then. Was it because of something that you did? More something that I didn't do, you know? I just, I checked out. I I've checked out for my friends, my family. I checked out for my entire life, practically. You know, Dad, you always give me the broad strokes. Why is that? Maybe because I feel that I've told you everything that you really need to know. The important thing is what keeps me from drinking now, not what started it. You already know that I'm a recovering alcoholic. You know that I live my life one day at a time. I, it's this emphasis on the past that is irrelevant that I don't understand. Well, it's relevant to me. I mean, it's relevant to my callers. Okay. Right. I mean, you went back and forth between drinking and not drinking. So... What makes a man who's fought so hard to stay on the wagon fall off the wagon again? I mean, what is it? What, what is it that set you off? Well, what? in the first place, what makes you so sure that it's just one thing? Well, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I'm just asking. I mean, my life was a mess for a lot of reasons, not just one thing, you know? And, and alcohol there is, is sort of numbing, you know? It makes you for, forget. Forget what? Forget what? <laughs> forget a lot of things. Like what things? Like one of those things, maybe Marianne Carruthers. Michelle, we've gone over this and over this. I don't know anybody by that name. See, I don't know a Marion Carruthers, so what I don't understand is why the hell you keep bringing her up. What is it? Every time I mention Marion Carruthers' name, it's like, it's like you're a different person. I'm not a different person. I'm just wondering when my words stopped meaning anything to you. It didn't. It didn't. It means, it means everything to me. But you were drinking back then, so maybe, maybe you don't remember everything. I remember everything. Then why is it that I feel like you're hiding something from me? 
maybe because I am. Dad. I have never kept my drinking a secret from you, but that doesn't mean that I feel obligated to paint you a picture. I understand that, but it still weighs on you, and I can see it. Of course it weighs on me. I mean, I practically destroyed my life, but what I don't understand is why you leap to this assumption, right? That all my problems, all my troubles are because of this one person. Because I've received that letter, and I received it for a reason. It has to mean something. Well, it doesn't mean anything to me. Except maybe that my daughter now believes an anonymous scrap of paper about some made-up person and not me. So you think she's not real? I think she's not real to me. Dad. She is not real to me. 